In this video, we're going to set up OBS Open Broadcast Software using the Auto Configuration Wizard and a simple three scene screen recording. Record is 7th of April. So, getting started, this is new to me, that's why I'm sharing it. Um, if you go to the OBS Project Wiki, um, the OBS, let's put the laser pointer on, the OBS quick start number one is where I'm getting this auto configuration wizard really useful for somebody like me who's got an older laptop so the way you use it is you go to download OBS this is for a complete brand new user working from home who wants to share their screen and audio so tools auto configuration wizard you just click it you don't have to be connected or streaming anything. You'll get a two-pronged choice, which is optimize for streaming. The one I always use is optimize just for recording. After that, through to the just for recording, it asks you for a base canvas resolution. My 15.6 inch laptop, I set to a 1366 by 768. And on the right hand side, which is the other drop down, when you run the wizard, then you've got a choice of 60 or 30 frames per second. For me, that takes up tons of CPU, hence why I use the eight frames a second. So if you go back to optimize for streaming, it will ask you for a few other things like stream keys. Is that going to YouTube or I don't know, Facebook or wherever? And then you'll notice that it might take a bit of time just to test this out and get your optimal settings. Then it will show the final results. For me particularly, it's suggesting that I use hardware QSV, which I've got no clue. High quality, medium file size, you've got your base canvas and your outputs, and then the 30 frames a second. If you are happy, click Apply Settings. For me, just to repeat, I use 8 frames a second, as I've got very much little moving on screen, usually static screens, so 8 is fine for me without jamming up my CPU. Remember, I've got a quad-core, personally, it's a G50 Lenovo, it's Intel Pentium, but it's not designed as a streaming machine, you know, it's just a general all-purpose machine, probably like most of us. Right, let's go to the second part, which is how to set up a simple three-scene recording. On the left-hand side, I have already set up a laptop screen, an extended screen, and then both together. So... What you do here is you, if it, this is blank when you first do it, if you've never seen this unsung free hero of OBS, you click the plus. When you click the plus, it allows you to choose quite a complicated variety of things. In other words, you can pick in anything on your, just anything on your machine. I mean, let me just go through them very quickly. You can do audio only, maybe for podcasts, browsers, color source. Display capture is the one that I've used. Game capture, obviously for recording games. You could do slideshow for images, media sources, that's videos. You've got different scenes, which are other like treed mechanisms you've already saved. Text, of course. Video capture device, which is your webcam or webcams. A window capture is um, a software application on your machine already open group no idea what it is but you get the idea there's an awful lot to choose from once you've done that it may look like this in other words i've set up a three scene on the left hand side one of them is the laptop screen only one of them is the extended screen only my 21 inch uh, which happens to have in this example a picture of a tree on it and that's my extended. Then I can tap between all of them. In other words, laptop only, the Windows 10 monitor only, or both together. Get the idea? So this laptop extended is made up of the sources of text, which is overlaid with these words. And I've got monitor two and laptop. Hence three components, one, two, and three. Then after that, you can hit transition and things. Before before I say that, um, just quickly, really important, remember to turn on or off your audio sources. In this example, I've got desktop audio, which is off. And the white microphone means that should I have a microphone plugged in or my natural uh, laptop microphone, then it will record. I use like a, a plug-in you know, phone headset thing for that. So this is the demo part where I said about transitions. So what I've done is made a little one earlier. 
So if I play this from about 13 seconds and just narrate over the top, what's happening with me in a previous few minutes ago is I'm selecting scenes, I'm hitting transition, and you can see I'm using like a fade uh, transition through to the other scene. Hit transition again and it changes. So if you're recording your screen from home for a co-worker or whatever, you can get a combination of exactly how you wish to do it. Now, of course, if I just, just close that, Going on to the last bit, this was me, Mike Downs, and just going up one screen, and that is this one here, is that if I try in this video that I'm making for you now to actually show OBS, which I, which I will look, let's just bring it in. This is my live recording right now. I'm using a separate microphone, and this is what my machine looks like. But it can get very, very um, difficult visually if I start clicking scenes and then hitting transition, because you get... A lot of uh, regressing through visual. Anyway, I think um, I ne need to end here because this was actually a simplistic guide, I hope, to everything. Once again, me, Mike Downs, just trying to make the most of working from home through this difficult stay at home, stay safe, stay healthy period. Thank you very much and goodbye.